All weather, baby. Successful one match challenge. What's good, anglers? What's the way, YouTube? I'm Mano. This is my brother Stu. Coming at you live from the middle of the Tongas, baby. Snowing a little bit, blowing about 20. We're going to see if we have what it takes to get a fire started out here in this wet weather with just one match. Stay tuned. Check that out, guys. Fresh moose tracks right behind our house. Awesome. Bro called out the direction to go. We got there. Weren't having much luck. We got to one point and decided to turn around. And as soon as we turned around, we walked past the jackpot. Here's a nice close-up of the spruce pitch we just found. Okay, guys, here's one of these natural umbrellas we're talking about here. I don't know how good you can make it out in the camera, but it's a nice big set of about four trees, bushy as hell. And right down here, two and a half feet from the ground, we've got all these right here, hanging down for the taking, and they're dry. It's been snowing and raining nonstop for months and months. But under all these natural umbrellas here in the Tongas, we've got some dry wood, baby. We've got a pretty tall, pretty old fallen tree. This is the stump of it. So when it fell out, the top of the tree fell and hit the ground, but the stump of it stayed a little bit above the ground. And I'll take the camera and I'll show you what I'm looking at here. We found the jackpot. You see what I mean? All that natural cover. It's still snowing pretty hard out. And it's pretty windy, but where we're at, the wind's blocked. And all this soil under here is dry. All these alder leaves are crispy and dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick some of these that are hanging down. These are real dry here. Listen, they'll crack real easy. So I'm gonna pick some of these that are hanging down here that are still really dry. Even if they're a little damp on the outside, they're so sheltered that the inside of them will be perfect. What's good, guys? So we're out here looking. We found this fallen tree. Looks like a fallen hemlock. I'm not gonna spend too much time under it because it's already at about a 45 degree angle. But this is what we're looking for. You can tell a good way to test your firewood if it's ready to burn or if it's dry or wet. When it snaps clean like that, nice and loud, nice and clean. That's the dry stuff that we're looking for. So we're gonna get a couple pockets of this. I already got a bunch in here. So always safety first when you're out here. If you're in a survival situation, you never want to make it worse. So I'm gonna pick some off of this overhanging fallen tree here and I'm gonna get the hell out from under it. So I've, I picked the spot here where we're out of the wind, where we're not getting snowed on. I found a nice chunk of dead wood. I'm going to use that sort of as a natural windbreak. And we had nothing to put our, our sap in, so we stuffed it in an old cigarette box. This is full, full up of sap. And before I get started, I want to show you a nice handy trick here for Southeast Alaska. Anytime you've got a big lighter, three perfect strikes. Say she fell in the water, <clears throat> dropped her in a puddle or something, that doesn't mean your lighter's done. You dry off any excess water from the outside, and you can do this on your boat side, you can do this on your bottom of your boot, the side of your boot. I choose to uh, do it to minimize debris, so I'm going to do it right here on my hand for you. All I'm going to do is flick this flint as many times as I can until the flint dries itself off, making it ready to strike. It takes a while. But before you know it, she's going to be sparking again. And I don't know about those other cheap gas station lighters, but I know the Bic lighters are really reliable for drying themselves off like this. Bam! Takes no more than a couple seconds. And this can be fully submerged in water. You can drop it in a puddle. You can drop it in the ocean. As long as you just flick her off like that. Bam, baby. But that was just for demonstration purposes. I am going to light this fire with just one match. Let's do this. So my brother and I, we spent about an hour and a half. Look, we took about 45 minutes to get the sap, 45 minutes to find some nice dry wood in this weather. So here we go. I'm going to get started. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm by no means an expert. I just like to play with fire a lot. And if you live in southeast Alaska, we're not in a dry climate. So any fisherman, land fisherman or hunter should be able to light a fire with exactly what we've got right here in our backyard. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line this ground with dry wood on the bottom because any fire that's going is going to suck moisture out from under it. And to get this fire lit, I need to be pulling off of dry wood, not this wet, damp 
moss and soil here. So I'm going to take a few bigger chunks and just line the bottom of my fire for it. It's very important to have your firewood ready before you light your fire. You don't want to light your fire, only have one match, and your fire goes out because you're scrambling around looking for firewood that you didn't prep beforehand. So be sure to have your firewood ready. All sizes start off from about, about this size. Get the small dry stuff and just gradually increase the size of your firewood. Okay, I've got a nice nice base here nice dry base all sitting the same way for the sake of our healthy fire i'm gonna put a, one more layer on top of it crisscrossing over almost like a tic-tac-toe board so we're gonna line that here's our windbreak keeping us out of the wind a little bit just enough okay okay so here we go Get a little bit of pitch on there just to spread it around just so the just so our bottom can catch this just as well. Okay, we're gonna line this whole thing. Once she gets going, that should be a nice healthy chunk of pitch. I don't have my back to a tree right now like I should, so you keep your head on a swivel anytime you're out here. You know how it goes in Alaska. So here's the stuff I'm going to start with. I'm going to build up these sides here with bigger chunks of wood. It's going to be almost like a little house. I'm going to have a spot built up on the sides just to have a spot to stick my match under. And it's going to grow up. Building your fire before lighting, it's a very important step, too. So I'm going to build up the sides. It's going to be like a U. And I'm just going to have somewhere to put my match under before I start lighting it. You only have one dry match. You need to do your very best to build your fire effectively. Stop and listen now and then. That was fresh moose crap we saw along the way. So I'm glad I'm talking loud. I'm making noise. Nothing's going to sneak up on me, hopefully. So. Here's my little fort. We're going to line a bunch of this dry tinder with that sap. We found uh, spruce pitch, spruce sap. I don't know the difference between pitch and sap, but we found lots of it. I'm going to get some right here under this tinder ball. It looks just like that. It looks just like a piece of gum almost. So I'm going to make sure I get lots of it. I'm going to spread it thin in hopes that it catches a little better when it's in a thin, pressed down thinner rather than a big clump. Okay. So here's that. I have more small dry tinder ready to put on there. Let's light this sucker in one match. Okay, I've got lots more here, so might as well dump it on. I don't want that thing to go out. A lot more pitch in there. And if you're in this situation, you can use a pair of pliers and pull the lead off of a live chunk of ammo. Get that black gunpowder out. That will always help you in a situation where you need a fire. And it combusts more than it lights slow. So you almost need to get your fire going a little bit before you put that, that gunpowder on it. You can pull a chunk of your boxers off. You can pull a chunk of your socks off. Do what you got to do in this situation. But my whole goal today was to do it with as little bit, with as little as I can. So here we go. I got the matches here. And even if I don't, even if I don't get it in one match, like say one, one match goes out, I'm going to see if I can still get it lit. Even if it takes a couple matches, I want to know how many it takes for me to get it lit. But I am going to try to do it in just one. Okay, here she goes, baby. Here we go. Put these right back in the, right back in the waterproofing. And like I said, pull chunks off of your boxers. Pull 
lint off your hat, pull lint off your socks, do what you got to do to get your fire lit. Here we go. I've got this nice dry tinder, nice big glob of sap on there. We're going to make it work, baby. Here we go. Wish me luck. First match right here for cheap time. Prep that. That's kind of just getting in my way. I'm going to take advantage of this nice chunk of wood as the wind break. Let's get this sucker going. Block the wind. She's going, she's going. Need more sap. I'm gonna get all our sap on there and I'm gonna do it in a way I don't smother that fire. I'm gonna put it real close to the flame, but I'm not putting it on the flame. I'm gonna build on it gradually. I don't wanna smother it. Start small, start with your small chunks of firewood before you increase to a pencil size. Start with half of a pencil size increase to a full pencil size if you need to we're burning baby and we got to keep her going get this dry stuff just put it down just a little bit i'm not smashing it down hard i'm smashing it down just enough getting that tinder right above the big glob of burning sap that looks like a pretty damn good fire to me guys that ain't going out And you see the amount of firewood it took me to get this lit. My pile's about half size now. So, realistically, I could have spent about another hour gathering wood. But this will work. Keep it down on it just a little. We're not smooshing it down hard. We're just keeping it in contact with the flame. Covering it from the snow, keeping that dry wood on there. That's burning pretty damn good. And we didn't use any paper, but this was full of the sap, so I'm just trying to get any remnants out. Get these nice dry chunks a little bit further in there. Blow on it just a bit. The very important part was that dry base. That dry base is what's smoldering right now more than anything. I'm going to let her burn for a little while. I'm not just going to start it and cut the video. I'm going to make sure she keeps going. Right now I'm taking some of the really, really dry stuff we found under that stump. And I'm just crumbling it up in there into really small chunks. And that's going to burn real nice. It's already really dry. It's just falling right apart in my hands. And it's smoldering. We're burning real nice. And if I blow on it, it'll burn hotter. But we want to keep her going naturally right now. And if this was a signal fire, we would have lit this under that real big stump. That whole thing would have went up in flames. So if you're in a survival situation, you need to light yourself a signal fire. You find the best possible place to light yourself a damn bonfire. If it's a survival situation, you just go all out, man. You set the whole damn island on fire and they'll come find you. Usually light three big fires right next to each other, SOS. And this would be how you start it takes a spark to light a forest fire don't forget that and there's a big puddle five feet from me so i'm gonna stomp this out and dump water on it before i leave hang out for a minute make sure it's not spreading but i guarantee you i would not let this fire go out all night all weather baby successful one match challenge now if you're watching this and you too are in southeast alaska just to show some love for the tongas show some love for our homeland I encourage you to try this challenge. Let me challenge you myself, man. I encourage you to come out and try this challenge. It's very fun. 
Very fun challenge, very fun way to test yourself out here. Because if you can do it here in the dead of winter, you can do it in the damn summer, spring, fall, it don't matter. You got to be able to do it in the worst, worst weather possible. Then if the weather's better than the worst, man, it'll be easy. Any outdoorsman here in the Tongas should be able to light a fire with exactly what we're provided. <laughs> you Successful one match challenge, baby. Account for the wind. Account for precipitation. Prep your firewood. Always be aware of your surroundings. Ears open, head on a swivel, always. You never know out here, guys. You never know out here. There she goes, guys. There she goes. We're just going to stoke her up, you know. Keep her going real nice and pretty. Healthy fire, baby. Real big part of it would be, a real big part of it is lighting on that dry base. If you tried to light the fire on this crap, it would be a lot more difficult. See, it's already pulling moisture out of the, under that base. That base I put down is probably already burned up. So from the very second we got her lit, she's pulling moisture out from the, under the fire. Very important to have a dry base and have dry wood ready for when you start your fire. I would not want to be scrambling around with an unattended fire, you know? Okay, guys. I'm going to come out here and show you that I'm not messing around. I'm not lying to you about the snow and the wind. We're a little bit exposed out here, but we find that one spot that's sheltered. Look at that ground. Completely umbrellaed. <laughs> Don't forget that trick about that Bic lighter. That'll always come in handy. Okay, guys, there she is. I'm just going to kick back for a while, enjoy my fire, let her burn out, stomp it out, pee it out when I'm done. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something. Got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it for me. I'm always keeping up on the comments. All weather anglers right here out of Cake, Alaska. One match challenge in the dead of winter. It ain't much, but if I had to, I'd keep her going all day, all week, baby. That's what we do. <laughs> no games I'm going to kick back smoke a cigarette enjoy my fire for a minute thank you for tuning in guys